Lucas, what is going on out there? Who are you talking to on the phone? Why are you shouting? It's this damn chiropractor's office again. Oh, here we go. The chiropractor's office. What have they done this time? They didn't send me a reminder text and I missed my massage again. Oh, heaven forbid, he missed his massage. Hey, wait a minute now. I need my massages. Are you making fun of me or something? Because you know that I'm in pain? No, I'm not making fun of you. I'm sorry. You better not be because it's not funny. There's no joking around about back pain. I'm sorry. I just think it's so strange that there's a massage therapist at your chiropractor's office. It's not strange at all. Actually, it's becoming pretty common, I guess. Oh, is it? And you know? She told me, okay? That's right. I always forget that your massage therapist is a woman. And so what? What's wrong with that? Nothing, nothing at all. What? You think I'm some kind of a perv who's just into a woman massaging me or something? No, I never said that. For all you know, Matilda is a six-foot-five bodybuilder or something. And what would be wrong about that? Ah, uh, nothing it just wouldn't be my thing is all. And what is your thing? Still you, Lulu, even after all these years. Ah, uh, you too, snail. But, how old is Matilda? Just wondering. Oh, I don't know, twenty-five, thirty? Oh, so she's young. I don't know, I guess so. But everybody looks young to me these days. I can't believe I'm saying that. My dad used to say that. Right, mine too. Well anyway, don't you leave me for a younger model now. I don't think you have to worry about that. I know, I know. Just kidding. Well, especially in this instance. Oh, and how's that? Because Lisa Matilda's with a woman. Oh, I see. Are you seriously worried? What? No, of course not. Why would I worry about that? We've been together forever. I've actually lost count. Exactly. So nothing would ever happen. And besides, I'm old now. Older. You're older now. Yeah, well, I don't feel older. I just feel old. Hence the massages, one of which I could really have used today. If they had sent me a reminder text. Well, maybe you should write it down or something? I mean, it's kind of like a courtesy, right? Oh, great. So take their side. Why don't you? I'm not taking anybody's side. Well, you definitely aren't taking my side. Ugh, look, just forget it. I think you'll just finally start seeing her privately. Privately? What do you mean? Yeah, you know like at her house. She gives massages there, too. You know. Wait a minute. She gives massages out of her house? Uh, yeah. And she can come to our house, also. She can come to our house? Yes, Lisa G's. Well, what, what are you going to do? What do you mean? I mean, are you going to go to her house or is she going to come here? Well, um, I figured that I could just go to her place. Oh, yeah. And why is that? Well, we live kind of far from her, I think so I'd just hate for her to drive all the way out here. Plus, our pets would be in and out of here. It would be a pain. Uh-huh. Why are you implying that I'm like what sleeping with her or something? I mean that's kind of gross, Lisa. No, it's just a joke. I'm only kidding. Well, that's a weird thing to be kidding about. I just get nervous. I don't want anyone stealing my man, all right? Well, I wouldn't worry about a thing. Three days later. Hey brother, how's it going? Oh, 
Hey Fred, what's up? Any more issues with the ants or did Bugsy finally take care of them for you? Oh, uh no, they're finally gone. Well, that's good to know. I always told you how good that guy is. Yeah, good. So anyway, what's up with you? I don't know. I was working on the Miata yesterday gosh is that little car hard to work on. Yeah, well, it's the size of a matchbox car, after all. Yeah, but my back is really killing me now. My neck too. Oh, oh. Then do I have the name for you? The name? Well, yeah, massage therapist, my massage therapist. Oh, I don't know if I need to get a massage therapist, Lucas. Why not? She's great. Don't you like getting a massage? Well, uh, I don't know. I actually I've never had one. Wait a minute. You're telling me you've never had a massage? Uh, well I'm not so sure that I want a stranger touching me is all. Oh, please stop it. It's not weird at all. She's a professional. It's like a medical procedure. Well that doesn't sound like it's very relaxing then. It's very relaxing, trust me. I don't know. I'm not so sure it's for me. I'll give you her number, just in case. In fact, I'm going to set up a 90-minute massage for Lisa for her birthday. Oh wow she's going to love that. She got a massage from this woman before? Matilda, and no this is her first. She doesn't know what she's in for. I bet. And I need to figure out what I'm going to get her for her birthday now, too. Thanks for reminding me. Well, don't get her a massage. Thanks, that's really helpful. What are brothers for? I really don't know. It's kind of crazy. I think Lisa thinks I'm having an affair with her. With Matilda? Yeah. She's just kidding around. Well, are you? Are you kidding me? Please tell me you're kidding me. Well, a little. You're not smooth enough to have an affair. Hey, I'm moisturized. That's not what I meant. Well, gee, thanks. Hey, it's a compliment. Would you ever want to be known as an authorial? Most certainly not. I didn't think so. Okay, well. I have to go. In fact, I think I'm going to text Matilda now and ask her if she can book something for Lisa. Okay, well. Don't get in trouble. Yeah, yeah later, bro. More moments later. Hey, Matilda, it's Lucas. How's it going? Oh, Lucas. Hello, how are you? Oh, pretty good now that I'm seeing you today. Yeah, you can look forward to feeling much better. Oh, yeah. Much better. Thank you very much. Well, anything for one of my best clients. Listen. I need to talk to you about something. Something about my wife. Oh, well that can be dangerous. Don't we have patient-client confidentiality? Of course. Still, it may come as quite a shock to her. Her birthday is coming up. We can talk all about it later. All right, we'll see you in a few hours. I can't wait. See you soon, Lucas. A few moments later. Hey Lisa, how's it going? All excited for your birthday? Oh, please. Yeah, well I was kind of afraid of that. I would probably be a little more excited if Lucas wasn't acting so Mysterio so about my gift. Mysterio what? He won't tell me what it is, Jessica. Well, I'm Lisa. What? Pardon me for saying so, but isn't a birthday present kind of supposed to be a surprise? You know just like most presents are? But not if the recipient asks to know what it is. Then the gift has to tell the gifty. Um, I've never heard that before. Well. That's because I just made it up. Okay, are you happy? Geez, Lisa, you seem really on edge. Do you want the name of my massage therapist? She's really good. That's it. That's what's bothering me. 
The massage therapist. I'm what massage therapist? What are you talking about? Lucas massage therapist. Lucas has a massage therapist? Yes. Her name is Matilda, and you should hear how he talks about her. Oh? Every time he gets back from one of his massages, it's Matilda this, Matilda that. Really? Matilda can do this to me, Matilda can do that to me. And that bothers you? Yes, it bothers me. And I don't know why, and it's annoying me so much, but it is. I don't get it though, you seem so secure in your relationship. Well, we are. I am, I mean I don't know what's W. Fredge with me. I mean, Lucas and I have been together for over 35 years now why should I be jealous of his massage therapist? Exactly. It's just a medical procedure. Right, medical. Except with dim lighting, mood music, and lubrication. Come on, Lisa. Stop it. I know. Sorry, it's just all so silly. I just need to relax. So where should we go for your birthday, huh? I don't know. I think I'm just going to take a nap. Oh, come on, don't get depressed. This is all in your head. No, no, I'm not depressed. I'm just tired is all. Well, okay, I guess I'll talk to you later then. Yeah, Jessica, talk to you later. The next day. Hey, Lisa, what's up? Oh, nothing much, just working in the garden. Oh, well, your birthday is tomorrow. Yes, I am aware. And you still weren't excited about it? No, definitely not, like at all. Oh, stop it. I just don't really feel like celebrating this year. You mean, on your birthday? Yes, of course on my birthday. When else? I don't know. I figured you might just want to celebrate tonight then. What do you mean? I mean if you don't want to celebrate your birthday, then maybe we can celebrate something else. Uh, how so? I don't know, maybe we could go out to dinner tonight. I could give you a gift then. One of them, I mean. One of them? Well, I got you a couple things. I don't know, I don't really feel like a fancy meal. It doesn't have to be fancy. It's your birthday, it can be wherever you want. Well, okay then. I guess. Jimmy John's? Jimmy John's? You want to go to Jimmy John's for your birthday? Well, yeah. I mean, I love Jimmy John's. And I don't mean anything fancy, you know. Well then, yeah, sure. Okay, that sounds good. Jimmy John's. Great. They'll go get cleaned up. Oh, uh, you want to go right now? We can wait if you want. I guess I'm not starving now. I'm kind of tired from playing pickleball with Fred. Mind if I take a nap first? No, not at all. Is your charger still down on the kitchen table? Can I plug my phone in down there? Yeah, no problem. Okay, great. I'm excited. Are you excited? Actually, yeah, I think I am. More moments later. Jessica. Oh my god. Jessica. What, Lisa? What's going on? Are you okay? You are never going to believe this. This is... Oh my god. What? What is it? It's Lucas and that Matilda. They are having an affair. Wait, what? What are you talking about? Lucas just laid down to take a nap and before he did it, he plugged his phone into my charger. One. And look at the text that I found. I'll send them to you. Wait a minute. You went through his phone? Well, I mean it was just sitting there. So you did. It's not like it was locked or anything. But still, Lisa, you went through his phone. Look, just listen to me for a second, okay? Just read these texts. Hey, Matilda. It's Lucas. How's it going? Oh, Lucas. Hello, how are you? Oh, pretty good now that I'm seeing you today. Yeah, you can look forward to feeling much better. Oh, yeah, much better. 
Thank you very much. Well, anything for one of my best clients. Listen, I need to talk to you about something, about my wife. Oh, well, that can be dangerous. Don't we have patient client confidentiality? Of course. Still, it may come as quite a shock to her. Her birthday is coming up. We can talk all about it later. All right, we'll see you in a few hours. I can't wait. See you soon, Lucas. You see? You see? What is that all about? Hmm, well, I don't know. That could be interpreted any number of ways. What? What are you talking about? How could that be interpreted any other way? Well, look, it's all a little bit vague, don't you think? They're talking about me, Jessica. My husband and that young massage therapist are talking about me. And there's some shock coming. It's him telling me that they're running away together. Oh, would you stop it? You're out of your mind. I am not out of my mind. How else would you interpret any of this? I don't know, Lisa. But I'm sure there's some sort of explanation for this. Yeah, there is. My husband is he's. He's not cheating on you. You don't know that for sure. Well, then there's only one way for you to find out. You have to ask him. I can't ask him that. I can't ask my husband if he's having an affair. Well, then that's a problem right there. I know. I, I don't know what's W. Fredge with me. And now he's supposed to take me out to dinner after he wakes up. Oh, where is he taking you? Jimmy John's. Oh, you two are having problems. Oh, no. It was my idea. Ugh. What? You don't like Jimmy John's? Well, you two better talk about it. You can't hold on to this in your club, Lulu. No, I, I don't want to talk about it. I can't talk to him at all, in fact. What do you mean? I can't go out to eat with him. I can't. I can't. So, so what are you going to do? I'm coming over to your house. Are you home? Yes. But are you sure that's a good idea, Lisa? Of course it's a good idea, and he'll be right there. Ugh. A few moments later. Lisa? Lisa, where are you? I just woke up from my nap and went downstairs and you were gone. You want to know where I am? They'll tell you where I am. I'm at Jessica's and we're about to order a pizza. But why? I thought we were about to go to Jimmy John's. We were. That is until I found out who was Jimmy I-N-G or John. What the ever-loving hell are you talking about? Are you high? Matilda. Yeah. What about her? I know everything, Lucas. Everything. Everything? And what's everything? Huh? I sure would like to hear it. I don't have to explain any of it to you because you already know all about it. Lisa, I don't know what you're going on about, but I'm sure that we can figure it out. Just come back here and we can talk about this. No, there's nothing else to talk about. I'm spending the night at Jessica's tonight, okay? No, it's not okay. It's your birthday. Well, it's not up to you whether or not it's okay or not. All right, all right. I get it, but you are seriously very mistaken, Lisa. I don't think I am, Lucas. I think you have some weird ideas in your head. I don't know what happened, some kind of a misunderstanding or something, but... We can talk about this. I just need some time, Lucas. But you don't, because there's nothing to think about. Lucas, just leave me alone. Ugh. Five minutes later. Fred, you aren't going to believe this. Oh no, are the ants back? Do you want me to call Bugsy again? What? No, 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 it's Lisa. She left me. What do you mean she left you? What are you talking about? What have you done this time, Lucas? Wait, what? What do you mean what have I done this time? I never do anything. Come on, Lucas. 
Let's face it. If Lisa left you, it may have been a long time coming. Wait, what? The assassin in the Alps? That wasn't my fault. Sleepwalking in the Super 6 Motel? It was a medication mishap. Look, all I say is, the woman has been through a lot. But still, that's not what any of this is about. Well, then what is it about? It's about Matilda. She thinks I'm having an affair with my massage therapist. Wait, what? But why would she ever think that? That's the thing, I have absolutely no idea. I mean, she's made some comments, but they've all been pretty sarcastic, or at least that's what I thought. Well, maybe they weren't so sarcastic after all. No, I really don't think so. Something had to have happened. Something changed. So, what could it have been? Think, Lucas, think. Well, I talked to her before I got home and she seemed fine. But then when I woke up from my nap, it was chaos. So, what could have changed in that short amount of time while you were asleep? I just can't think of it. You must have involved Matilda. I came inside I went into the kitchen I plugged my phone into the charger. Okay, yes. Yes. My phone wait a minute could she? Could she do what? Could she possibly have gone through my phone? Is it locked or anything? Um, no. You mean, you don't lock your phone? Well, uh, no. I've never locked my phone. But aren't you afraid that someone's going to go through it? Well, I wasn't until now, but I don't have anything incriminating on there. Okay, well. What could she possibly have seen there? I guess it only could have been my conversation with Matilda. But there's nothing I said that was bad. Maybe she just misinterpreted it somehow or something. Well, I don't understand how. Then ask her. Ugh, fine, I will. A few moments later. Listen, Lisa. Will you please just listen to me for a minute? What, Lucas? I don't want to talk to you. But I really do think this is all just a huge misunderstanding. And how is that? How is it just a misunderstanding? Well, I just think that maybe you went through my phone, and... No, no I wasn't going through your phone. Oh really? You weren't? Do you promise me? No, I don't promise you. Okay, so you did go through my phone? Yes, Lucas. I did. And I read those texts with your little massage therapist Matilda. Yeah, and so what? I don't understand what was W. French with them. You were talking about me. You said you were going to talk to her about me later. But, but we didn't. Oh, please. Come on, Lisa. Just at least give me the chance to explain. Can I at least have that? All right, fine. Go ahead. Explain yourself. Explain away. Well, you're present, or one of them was a massage from Sony. A massage? Yes. So as you can see, you misinterpreted something. Wait a minute. You mean when you said you were going to talk about me, it was about a massage for my birthday? Yes, of course, Lisa. Of course that's what it was about. I'm not having an affair. Oh, oh my God, Lucas. Lisa, this is crazy. Lucas, I'm so sorry. I had no idea. Well, maybe if you hadn't just flown off the panel about this whole thing. I... I know. I don't know why I've been so paranoid lately, honey. I don't either. It's like you think someone is going to take me away from you or something. No, it's just... I don't know what's going on with me. Maybe it's just an age thing. Maybe I'm just getting old and insecure. But there's no reason to be. I'm with you and I'm going to stay with you forever. Till death do us part, okay? Remember? I mean that. 
Well, I mean it too, okay? I love you, honey. Happy birthday. Well, thank you, honey. It's definitely been a memorable one. So when are you going to schedule the massage? Oh gee, I don't know about that. Maybe after all of the drama. Are you kidding? After all of the drama, this is exactly what you need. I'm telling you, she's the best. So she really is that good, huh? She's the best. She got her start in Sweden, you know. She went to a specialized massage college there. They have specialized massage colleges in Sweden? Like what do they do there? I don't know. I think you can get your master's in hot stones or something. Wow. Honey, I really hope you know that I would never, ever cheat on you. Like ever. I know, Lucas. I mean, even when I was a younger man, which does seem to be a very long time ago. Even back then, I never would have had any interest in any other woman. And I can honestly say that I've never had any interest in any other man. Well, I really appreciate that. I'm just so glad all of this is over. I've been so keyed up about all of this. You have no idea. Um, I have some ideas. I've been pretty keyed up myself. In fact, I need to schedule a massage with her myself now. Does she do group rates? I doubt it, but I need to talk to Fred about this too. What do you mean? What does Fred have to do with any of this? Well, I've been talking to him about all of this. Wait, you mean your brother knows about all of this? Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, but I didn't know who else to talk to about this. Wow, does anybody else know about my stupidity? No, hon, only us. Thanks, dear. Three days later. Hey, Matilda. This is Lisa. Oh, hello, Lisa. It's so nice to finally talk to you. Um, yes, well I've heard great things about your, uh, work. Well, your husband Lucas is one of my favorite clients. He really is a very sweet man. Yes, he is sweet, isn't he? So how did you two meet if you don't mind me asking? Oh, well it was on our college campus, actually. College? Yeah, we were taking a film studies class together and he was the only one who didn't fall asleep during the foreign ones. Well, I found that to be so endearing. Ah, well. That's more than I can say for what he does in here. What do you mean? Well, he does have a tendency to get a little sleepy every once in a while. Anyway, we went out for coffee afterwards and we've been together ever since. That is so sweet. I love stories like that. Yes, well I consider myself very lucky. So anyway when would you like to come in? I have some openings next week. Um, okay. What do you have? How about Monday at 10? Um, sure, I'll see you then. The next day. Oh, Lucas, you are not kidding. Matilda is amazing. I have never been this relaxed in my whole life. Right, Lisa. Didn't I tell you that she's the best ever? I mean, I seriously have never had a massage like that in my entire life. Well, happy birthday, honey. You know, you really do deserve it. Well, I don't know about that. I do. And you totally do deserve it. Next year for my birthday, I'd rather just have a massage from you though and Jimmy John's. Keep it simple, you know? Oh, come on. The massage you got from Matilda is a million, billion times better than what you can ever get from me. Well, that's for sure. Oh. Two. Ah, you're crazy, Lisa. Maybe. Maybe not. So what do you want for your birthday then? It's coming up in a few months, you know? Oh yes, I know. I'm well aware, but I'm kind of off of birthdays right now. What do you mean you're off of birthdays? You love your birthdays. You're like a little kid when it comes to your birthdays. 
I know, but maybe it's time for me to grow up a little, you know? Come on, Lucas. You don't need to grow up for my sake. Well, okay. I was thinking about going down to the racetrack. Oh, really? The racetrack? So that's what you want to do? Watch the cars go vroom, vroom. Well, yeah. Of course, don't you? Sounds good, Lucas. Let's do it. Lisa enjoyed her massage from Matilda so much that she decided to continue going to her. For Lucas's birthday, she kept her promise and took him to the track, where they both had a great time. Lisa is now much more confident in her relationship with Lucas and feels silly about the whole affair. But Lucas reassures her that it's all right, and she mostly believes him.